in, in this container where you are, you, you could see that there, uh, this hold has a lot of meat products. So there is boxed meats products. There's um, hanging, very large, you know, full uh, heifers, cows, you know, a lot of different meat. And uh, where you had stumbled on the ground, not expecting there to be in this dark area, things on the floor like this, you uh, literally fell into a whole tangle of uh, body parts. What you first just assumed was random meat that had uh, fallen on the floor or that, you know, from the impact of the ship running into the iceberg, you know, may have dislodged some of the meat that was hanging and, and, and came down. Uh, you actually uh, um, find a pile of bodies, um, which you believe to be the missing crew that you guys have all been searching and trying to save uh, on on this ship. Um, and something happened to you when you came to this realization. And that is where we're going to continue with the, the story. Um, so we're not in initiative order, but we are going to give Dan the opportunity to describe <laughs> how his character is reacting. Uh, not very well. Um, it's just like, you can feel it like all over his skin. I, I try to think they're like, it'll be like, yeah, like all over his face, maybe in his eyes. Uh, I don't know how much smell it'll have because it'll be like, probably like frozen or partly frozen, but like, yes, yeah, I think it's going to be like quite disgusting, um, and horrifying. So there is a large uh, shriek, a, a, a large sound, a large a manly scream. scream. <laughs> Excellent. And as we hear the scream echoing throughout the void of the ship, we're going to move over to uh, two very lovely ladies, um, Elizabeth and Ashley, uh, who, the fish people. Sorry, the fish, yeah, who have been uh, stuck in the uh, ship. Uh, they had stayed uh, in uh, in their their motorboat uh, that uh, that brought everybody over uh, from the Delilah, uh, and um, it's been it's been a while. The the others that have boarded the ship you haven't heard from them in a bit. Perhaps you're getting concerned. Perhaps you're just bored. Um, however, you are at the uh, side of the ship, which is. Uh, deck level uh and uh you'll notice that uh, at deck level there is a uh ladder that is uh that's heading up uh the ship and that is the way to get on the ship and and not being ones to sit around and wait it's been probably a good hour that nobody has come back to you at all any signs of life you haven't heard any noises um uh you're you're kind of wondering what's going on so would you like to 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 share with us what you and Liz are 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 doing? Well, that's the last of the booze. Um, let's go and look for some. Come on. All right, heading up the gangway, um, you reach uh, the deck of the ship. Um, the deck of the ship it's it's very quiet. It's isolated. It's uh, there is plenty of light because it is only uh, early afternoon. Um, you can see that there are three cranes, three huge cranes, uh, which would load cargo into the uh, respective holds uh, that are underneath them. However, one of them that is uh, towards the bow of the ship, towards the front, uh, is is obviously damaged. Uh, perhaps as the uh, ship hit the iceberg, that bore the brunt of the impact. Uh, and uh, you could see that that is is um, inoperable. There are uh, wires and cables that seem to be um, just dangling. Uh, part of the crane itself is is hanging lopsided, and uh, and parts are are crashed on the deck of the ship. Um, and that's uh, that's what you see there. They obviously didn't see the film Titanic, did they? <clears throat> um, but we'll see. Down here. 
Yeah. Because there's a hole there. We don't. Let's, let's see if they've, they've wandered down here. Because I bet you they went down here looking to see what's happened to this crane. Well, I mean, you also, you know, might uh, it might have been said in the ship that this is indeed a reefer ship, so it's uh, refrigerated. So any of the uh, fine wine products that uh, that they might be transporting from one place to the other, yes, it's it's logical that they would be crated up and, and placed in the holds. Um, and so we'll start off with Ashley and Liz wandering the deck. Um, and uh, heading towards uh, where it says uh, hold three, between hold three and hold two, you'll see there is a, a staircase uh, heading down. Um, and as you head down to uh, hold three, level one, uh, all of a sudden you go in and you can see that the, the, the hold is, is closed. So there is no light coming in. Uh, what exactly are you going to use to light your way? Um, my lighter. Uh, okay, yes, you have uh, both a lighter uh, and an iPhone. Uh, so you can, you know, flick your light on. Um, Liz will use the um, the flashlight of, of her cell phone. Uh, and going down into a uh, hold three... Um, it, 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 there's nothing operating on the ship. There's no electricity. There's no lights. There doesn't seem to be any power here at all. Um, but as you go around, you get a, 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 a distinct odor, uh, from this area. Um, it smells like, like cheese, uh, from what you can, what you can see, uh, from what you smell. It, it's typical it, ship. It is stink. Oh, Smelly it's... men. Not washing, smelly feet. Yeah, and you can go ahead and you can make a, a spot hidden roll if you like for this, um, for hold three, level one. Okay, so I click the number, yeah? Uh, yes, under your skills, uh, you would go ahead and under spot hidden, double click the, uh, the number. Ooh, okay, so. Yeah, um, I failed. That's fine. I mean, you know, there's nothing uh, to succeed or fail here, uh, per se. Uh, but as you open up some of the doors, you see crates. Um, you'll see uh, pallets. Some are just empty and, 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 and piled. You see uh, every now and then a crowbar here or there. You'll see uh, some rigging and lines, uh, things to secure, uh, um, you know, cargo down. Uh, and, and you could definitely see that there are boxes of cheese uh, in in this hold. Uh, but you also find uh, in uh, one of the uh, storerooms uh, that are on the side, uh, boxes of very nice, fancy, and apparently Norwegian chocolate. Oh, we'll take a few of them. Here, Ashley, keep us going oh. till we find the loose oh, Liz. Yeah, Liz. This will keep us going until we find some more booze. Oh, 100%. Um, it, it, it's really good. It, it, it's 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 very, very, very fine chocolate. Um, where would you like to go from here? Um, so we're, we're at hold three, yeah? Yeah, hold three, level one. Uh... Now, from here, you can actually, you, you, you can see that there's... Um, the hole in the center of the area where it would go down to a, a lower hold, a lower cargo hold. Uh, so it's difficult for you to see down there because there's uh, there's no light. Um, well, I'll lean over with my torch and go, hello, is anybody there? Uh, there's no answer. Charles? Matthew? Lloyd? No, Lloyd, Dan? Oh. I stepped down a few steps. Maybe there's some... They're going to be here somewhere. Come on, let's just go down and have a look. Check out, see if there's any more boo any booze. And then, I don't know, we'll go back a bit, maybe, because we're near the edge of the boat, the end of the boat. Okay, sure. So as as you uh, come down to hold, uh, level two, the hold three, um, you see... Uh, well, you can make me a spot in and roll here as well. Certainly. 
Oh my lord. Okay. Uh, here you find uh, most of mostly the same. It's it's uh, dairy products, but here you can tell it is more. Um, you know, of the heavier pallets that were were loaded into the bottom. So and and the heavier crates. So this is you know you'd you'd have to actually use crowbars to start to open up. But you know you could see by the markings on it that it is just more uh, dairy products. Um, you know, packaged dairy products, perhaps uh, yogurts and cheeses and. Uh, cream cheese and other dairy products uh, that are in this cargo hold. Now, despite the fact that the refrigeration hasn't been on, it is quite cool and it is quite cold. So the, the food seems to be maintained. The smell that you have isn't a smell of rotting food. Many men. I shout again. Charles, Matthew, Dan. Uh, no, 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 there is no answer at this point. Uh, Ashley, should we go back up and go through those doors at the top? We've got to be here somewhere. They probably found the uh, the bar with all the crew. Let's go up. Uh, okay, so uh, which way are you heading? I'm going to go back up the stairs and head walk through the door that leads towards hold two. Uh, excellent, okay. Um, uh, so in hall two, you can go ahead and make a spot hidden roll. Yeah, because they've worked so well. Oh, oh. You're bound to succeed. Uh, so in this hall, you find uh, that uh, there are uh, crates. Uh, it's there. It's it's they're a little bit more. They're not as sealed. They're more open. It is uh, fruits and vegetable products and things that you couldn't uh, actually seal because it needs to have. Um, air circulating on it. They also seem to be quite well preserved. You don't necessarily have any smells of um, of rotting food yet. Uh, the food is is still, um, you know, pretty much uh, it, it being refrigerated in here. Uh, but you do notice that uh, on the uh, starboard side, uh, I believe, or it's, uh, oh, I have to check. You notice uh, right north of you, there is a, a first aid kit. And when you open it up, you actually notice uh, that there is a flashlight here, which will aid you immensely in looking around. So let's go ahead and make me a luck roll, please. We'll do when... Uh, bear with me one... Sure. Hit it, look. You know, as you um... oh, oh oh, can I can I? Oh, are you pretty so close? <laughs> she wants to spend a look on that, Laura. <laughs> uh, I it's I think it's only uh, you have to do you have to spend one luck to uh, succeed. <laughs> um, In your luck roll, but that will mean that you yeah. have to spend another point then too. That you're, you're yeah. The, yeah. So, um, as you as you put on the uh, flashlight and you sputter it on. Um, you can see, and as you're shining it around and you're looking down uh, at hold level two, which is a lot easier to see, you see much of the same thing from your vantage point up here. Um, you notice that there are a lot of crates in there with uh, fruits and vegetables. That seems to be the main content uh, in hold two, both level one and level two. Um, but you already also notice at the, at the bottom there that there is a uh, bulldozer. Uh, you know, obviously something that's used for moving... Um, different uh, different things around it's it's not really a pallet truck but it is a bulldozer um uh, and uh it is um uh you can see it has a gas canister on the back of it um and it looks uh, pretty much intact however unfortunately you know your luck didn't really hold out and uh the batteries in the flashlight die and you're back with your uh cell phone uh, light. I checked my cell phone. Has he got a signal? Oh, no, not from down here. But, I mean, you wouldn't expect it to be from the inside the hold. Um, hey, but you can certainly climb up, climb up to see if you have any... Uh... Okay, I was, I was just going to message the guys and tell them I was wandering around. But fine, can't do that. So, well, I, I mean, keep... you know, again, perhaps if you go up on the deck, maybe they'll have, like, like cell phone service. I... Okay, I'm going to do the whole walking up the stairs trying to get... And if I get okay. a signal, I'm just going to send like a, a message to them going, oh, we got bored. We're, we're wandering around the hold. Okay. So uh, as you get up, you can see that um, 
there you know you're 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 walking around the um up just trying to see if there's any cell phone service from the top of the ship and go ahead and make me a uh, a luck roll <laughs> Yeah. So um, as you're walking around and, and you're kind of looking up at your cell phone uh, and you're moving from place to place, you're not really watching where you're going. And the place is kind of covered with a, a, a very shin, a thin sheet of, of, of ice of, you know, uh, of um, water that has kind of semi uh, frozen over it because of the temperature. Uh, and you trip over something and uh, and you, you fall down. Flipping egg. Yeah, and and uh, Liz go. Oh, oh my! Here, l l let me help you up. And you notice that you tripped over a a bag. It looks like some sort of a rucksack. Oh, maybe there's some batteries in a, in here, and I open it up. Okay. Um, opening up the rucksack, you do find uh, a flashlight. Yee. You find a a flare gun, and Yee. you also find a a, a book inside it um uh, as well as a couple of other sundry items but the, the book inside it looks like it has something pressed uh between it because it it's kind of the pages are it looks like something is stuck inside the book say that again something sorry st uh, something stuck inside the book yeah, so as you take out the book you can see that it, it opens up to a certain page because there is a fine a uh, silver fountain pen that has kind of just kind of, you know, as if somebody was using it almost as a bookmark or just placed it in there and then then put it in the bag. I, I look at that and put it in my pocket. Um, so as you as you take the uh, the fountain pen, which mm. which is really, really nice. Mm, uh, sorry, goes, oh, what, what, what's that that you have over there? It's a book. Oh, it's a book. Let, let me. Can I see it? Uh, Yeah. Uh, and she she looks at the book and uh, she goes, "Oh, this is uh, this, this is is Norwegian, I believe." And she uh, she examines the book and uh, lucky for you, uh, she is actually quite well read, uh, quite educated, and uh, did uh, much to her father's uh, chagrin. Uh, enjoyed the company of a um, Icelandic boyfriend for a period of time where she did pick up uh, uh, some of the language. And so we will ask uh, some old pirate to go ahead and play the part of uh, Liz as she reads uh, the following um, page, which With my the eyes book seemed to be on. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> uh, it happened one morning that Carl Sefni and his men noticed up above the clearing a kind of speck uh, as it were glittering back at them and they shouted at it it moved it was a cyapod and hopped down to the riverbank off which they were lying uh, Thorvald Eirik the red sun was sitting by the rudder and the cyapod shot an arrow into his guts he drew out the arrow. There is fat around my belly, he said. We have won a fine and fruitful country, but will hardly be allowed to enjoy it. Thorvald died of this wound a little later. The Cyapod skipped away and back north, and Carl Sefni and his men gave chase, catching sight of him every now and again. The last glimpse they had of him, he was leaping for some creek or other. Carl Sefni and his men then turned back, then one of the men sang this ditty. Men went chasing, I tell you no lie, a one-legger racing the seashore by. But this man wonder, cursed son of a trollop, Carl Sefni pray ponder, escaped at a gallop. They concluded that those mountains which were at hope and those they had now discovered were one and the same range, that they therefore stood directly in line with each other and extended the same distance on both sides of the Stramfjord. And as Liz is reading this, Ashley, you, you know, you, you have a little bit too much energy inside of you because of the chocolate that you just consumed, which was really good, but very sweet. 
And you take this fountain pen and you start to like twiddle it between your hands. You're just using it as this uh, fidget as uh, Liz is reading this terribly boring uh, story. And you're gazing about and looking around uh, the area, really just trying to occupy yourself with something way more interesting than the oh, text it was in this old Norwegian book. Um, and and you notice something out in the distance. Uh, it seems to be heading towards you uh, from uh, the the iceberg. Um, why don't you go ahead and make me a sanity roll? Because I don't want to. <laughs> um, or is it on the main bits? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So you keep your composure as you watch this thing and you're you're kind of listening to Liz. Liz is looking into the book and you go, Liz, what's that over there? Do you do you see that in the distance? It looks to be coming closer and she looks at you like, I don't see anything, but you could see it clear as day. And uh, you're you're watching it come at you and come closer and closer. And Get my Glock out. A, a realization is coming towards you as you see this clear as day heading oh. towards you from What the fuck? I mean, the ice. Oh. And 10 is very good. You let out a cry over there and you you're screeching. And at the same time that you screech to Liz over there and point to it and take out your gun. OK, you hear another screech, a very manly scream somewhere emanating from the cover of hold one to the left of your current position and you see this thing kind of as you scream over there and as you hear that other scream you see it kind of stop and turn around and you go you 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 go to pull out your gun uh and go ahead and make me a dexterity save please is that just with that like that yeah excellent so you get the gun out no problem um unfortunately you drop the pen oh, as you're that pulling out the gun and it it just clatters to the floor and uh, when you look up to aim your gun towards it the thing has disappeared as if vanished just like that i'm going to keep my gun out but i am going to get the pen okay um uh liz did you not see that <clears throat> uh, nothing what, what are you talking about what, oh, are you, why are you taking your are you okay Okay, the, shut, that chocolate shut, good? The, shut the boring, stuffy book. And did you hear the scream? Right, let's go. Yeah, towards... there's a. It's, 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 I still hear the screaming. It's from over there. Right, well, let's go towards there. Have you got a gun or a weapon or anything? Uh, that's a good question. Okay. Uh, let's see. Does she have a gun or anything? Um, while she is looking for the gun, uh, to see if she has anything on her. Uh, you guys head towards... Um, yes, we will be heading towards the, that, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that you guys will actually, uh, you know, head in, down. You're not going to go across the deck with something that you saw, perhaps, uh, mm -hmm. heading towards you. And as you uh, head down into hold uh, one, hold two, level one, you can rush across. Uh, and uh, you can see from the top of uh, hold one, level one, as you are peering down towards hold one level two, uh, you see the rest of the gang there uh, as, uh, and now we are going to continue with uh, what Dan seems to be doing after his scream, uh, after this realization, you can see they're lit because they have uh, flashlights and, and iPhones that are also on. Um, it, this, this place is smelling more like meat uh, in this hold. Uh, and you can uh, see that uh, Dan seems to be um, uh, taking himself up out of this tangle of flesh and meat and uh, just screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What the hell's going on? Danny, Danny, you okay? Oh, God, that's disgusting. Oh, I'm, I'm <clears throat> shining my torch up in this direction, my phone, uh, waving it around. Switch the torch like, All these lights kind of flickering around in the dark I've seen from above. Yeah, you see me desperately like, trying to like claw his way back out, away from this and just... Okay, Can't you like have... Wipe himself clean, I guess, as much as he can. 100%. And you see that the girls are uh, are kind of screaming at you. You see a little uh, light uh, flashing from above as the uh, as the as Liz and Ashley are are just uh, uh, in the hold right above you. Um, are are you guys going down to them or are they? I just like what the hell are you lots? What are you screaming about? What's going on? I've just seen something really weird up here. Um, That's nice. We found the crew. <laughs> oh, right, well, um, get them to come up here. Cause they're just, they're uh, not going anywhere. Uh, as you're looking down, go ahead, uh, Ashley, and make me a sanity check, please. Sorry. As his description of the crew was not really preparing you for what you are coming to see. Yeah, I might have failed that. Uh, yeah, so uh, you... Uh, from up there, uh, right away, you are going to lose um, two sanity. As uh, you see uh, that Dan seems to be untangling himself from a pile of limbs, torsos, uh. hands, head. There's over a dozen bodies that are just heaped up uh, in the middle of the a floor of hold one level two very you know, kind of but oh, similar sorry. to how crates of meat are also uh stored and piled here as well what the this hell's going fresh. on well i've just seen something really weird on the deck and i think he needs to come upstairs really quick and we need to chase it because that might have what's done that it was scaly and Squirrely and thing. You've been drinking. Well, obviously. You've been drinking, Liz. Uh, you were supposed to be on the boat. What are you doing? Well, we ran out of booze and we got bored and we came looking for you guys. And then I saw this thing coming towards me. And then the big girly scream from down here made it run away. I didn't hear a girly scream. I just heard a manly one. Mm -hmm. Um. And as you guys come down, the other thing that seems to be permeating this room um, is a, 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 a strong uh, smell of fuel, which being so in, in such close proximity to the engine room is is not surprising. Um, but looking around, you can see that the it looks like the access door to the engine room, uh, which would be just towards the aft of uh, cargo level two uh, has also been bashed in. There are signs of destructive blunt force uh, being delivered upon this door. Um, Is he going to come and help me chase this scaly thing? Just well, wait a second, wait a second. I'm going to go and see if I can... Well, well, catch us up and I'll turn around and go back up. Lend a hand to Danny who... <laughs> Money <laughs> then getting off this pile of body parts. Yeah. I suppose if I see it, do I have to make a sanity roll? I'm not going in there. Um, it, I believe everybody made their sanity rolls last time for sanity, oh, correct? Oh, it could I, I maybe. I'm going to go, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just take the freebie. Liz, um, did you see this uh, creature uh, thing? Found a hold with chocolate. It was really good chocolate. You'd find so you, good you chocolate. Maybe seen, it expired a bit anything. or something. It tasted good, but... I you know, I, nothing against Liz. She's really great, but she is prone to taking flights of fancy. She drinks too much. <laughs> wow. I mean, she did say she wanted to find alcohol here, and she uh, thought in the holds there might be, because, you know. She needs to she wean herself off it, like I did. <clears throat> Charles can help her wean her off. Go back on the right track, like he did me. I mean... I mean, she's great. She's 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 a she's an actress. I mean, look at her. You know, she's absolutely beautiful. So, 
I'll I'll be trying to block her vision from the pile of um, dead bodies. Yeah, that's fine. I I I found this book. It's 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 kind of interesting. In in Norwegian, it's uh, actually Ashley found it. She found it in a in this ru rucksack that that uh, that was above there. Is it, is um, it otherwise, diary? we also found like. This ship is is really boring. You have to be careful. There's you know, lots of rope around that you could trip on, and then you know there's these these pallets around and uh, it, there's uh, it's ice. The um, we're place. not going to be staying on it much longer. I think we need to leave. Need oh, to go excellent. back to the yacht. You shouldn't have come on the ship. We, we said don't don't come. Oh, God, it's been so long. You were you were gone over an hour, hour and a half. I mean, we've literally been an hour. Yeah, well, you've been an hour and then a half hour, like, yeah. since they've, they've been wandering around. What, what I'm going to do, stay in this this, this, this rope, this, this boat, it kept, like, rocking and smacking against the side of the ship. I'll... But it's okay, we left the engine on for a quick getaway in case we need to, to run quickly. Because I don't want her to see the bodies, I, I will yeah. go up on deck with her. Okay, so you're heading up on deck... So she doesn't um, are screaming. <laughs> okay. Does anybody, why well, know if any of the other people have got any engineering skills? Oh, uh, you can ask them. Um, I presume detective hasn't. Would I know Charles? He's not an no. I mean, like a mechanic to uh, sort of think... the engine out on the ship. Um, so, Charles, I mean, you Charles didn't really does. go into the engine room yet, right. uh, but, uh, if, if the engine, if it's just an issue of starting the engine, if the engine just wasn't maintained and needs to be started, that would be one thing. If there's, uh, you know, something that is preventing the engine from starting, you, you know, that it really depends. You haven't, you haven't really discovered what skill you might need to, to start an engine on this, uh, ship in no. order to get I think he, he'd it. know that, that Charles was ex-Navy. I think, wouldn't he? Yeah, likely. And so may have. I before I go up on deck, then mm. I'm I'm gonna turn to Dennis and I say, Dennis, you, you need to go back to the um, you need to go back to the yacht and raise the authorities. The, this is like mass murder on this ship. You're saying that in front of all of us. Hey, hold, I mean, well, hold on a minute. <laughs> can still we can have salvage rights, but the crew's dead. Yeah, the captain is—he's sending a message. I've already told him. To. But how long? It'll be a few hours. It's—it's it's going to make very little difference. Nobody's going to get here that quick. The quicker, the better. Look, we've well, said the there's there's nobody else here. I mean, whatever happened here happened a while ago. Nobody's well, going to have stuck around. According to um, Ashley, there is something else here. I kind of lean forward and kind of whisper him, Jesus, man, it's Ashley. Who? <laughs> Look, I mean, we don't know if this is all the crew, but... That's a pretty big pile of meat, right? Let's let's go and see if we can get into the engine room. Let's see what state that, that the engines are in. Let's take a look at the the rest of the ship and and hey, um, the, the the captain he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna notify the authorities anyway. I've already ordered him to do that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? Okay, it's gonna be fine. Well, um, let's stay together then. We'll we'll go to the engine room. Sure, sure. Okay. I shout from the stairs. Are you not coming? And I keep going up the stairs. <laughs> We're just going to check the engine room, see what shape it's in. Well, I'm going to go and see what this thing was. Maybe it was a deformed polar bear. Okay, and and uh, you're very welcome to to head on up. Um, and um, let's let's go into the engine room uh, while people are there. So go ahead and. Uh, why doesn't everybody who is in the engine room go ahead and make a, a spot hidden roll? 
Um, <laughs> I can think of a reason. <laughs> no uh, oh, okay, now I made it. Ah, 21 is very good. Uh, hard success. Excellent. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Probably. Nice. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, very good. So, um, no, nothing to see exactly. Um, uh, so you can see here that um, it, the engine room is 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 quite silent and dark. Using your your lighting sources to get around, you can notice that all the access doors have been uh, bashed open, and the smell of fuel is still very strong. Um, you could see a dizzying array of of controls and valves and switches, dials. Um, you know. Uh, <sighs> Many of them that look like they've been smashed and damaged, as if as if somebody took like a sledgehammer, and uh, and started to go at the room. You could see broken plastic and chipped metal, uh, some burst pipes and and wiring that is littering the walls and ceiling. You don't see any sledgehammer there, or not anything else. Um, y you can uh, you do find, however, in this room uh, a set of mechanics tools. Um, you, uh, you find access to, uh, where the, uh, fuel is kept. So you, you now know, uh, how to access, uh, the fuel. Um, and, um, looking through there, if somebody wants to go and make me, um, an electrical, uh, repair role or a science engineering role, that's... Or even a no roll or idea oh, roll. Shit. That's not going to help. <laughs> um, Charles breaks something very important. I wish I'd done that. My just still failed. Uh, so, well, you said knowledge, didn't you? Sure. Oh, oh man. Yeah, wow, well, just... never mind. Oh, oh my goodness <clears throat> me! You've just broken. Uh, st the ship is sinking. Random <laughs> ship. So, uh, <laughs> on at least uh, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> since you have like really all in the nineties, um, you know, I'm gonna say that you believe that you <laughs> won't be able to get this ship working again at all. Um, however, uh, given time, it's possible maybe you'll get at least the electrical up so that you'll have lights aboard, uh, maybe power to the cranes, but that would take, you know, that would take some time. You would have to decide that, uh, we are dedicating time to this as, uh, yeah. Um, so in terms of, of, of salvage, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm looking at Danny if we can't get this thing moving, we don't have a leg to stand on with Sally. Right? We got to, we got, we're supposed to get this back to port before we could claim. Yeah, anything. so you'd have to, you'd have to hire someone to get it, or we just have to see if there's anything actually worth keeping on board that we can take on the yacht. Right. So, so monkey meat. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's yeah. exactly True. right. Given the amount of 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 uh, supplies that are here, uh, it would not at all be unreasonable uh, to hire a a salvage company to come and bring it. And yes, you would retain salvage rights uh, for the value of the ship and the value of the cargo, and you would pay them the tow fee. Yeah. Problem is, if we radio this in. That then gives somebody else the opportunity to get out here before we have a chance to get back and send a team out to retrieve the ship. But yeah, you have to squat the ship for the duration. Um, <clears throat> perhaps as as a lawyer, you might know that it it would be enough to declare the ship where it is and the yeah. intention, and that you're not abandoning it. You're actually taking a uh, steps towards okay. bringing it to salvage, and that that might suffice. Gotcha. Uh, and so Angie, as uh, as everybody is down there, let's let's go back to you. Uh, you were heading towards the deck of the ship. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just like stomping off basically because I've seen something bad and they're all ignoring me. 
Okay, so uh, are, what is you still walking around with your gun? What are you? I've got my gun out. Um, yeah, and I'm got that. I don't need the torch, do I? Cause daylight. Um, I'm gonna see maybe as you're as you're looking around. It's daylight. You don't need a torch. That's um, cool. Then I'll just put that back in the bag. Yeah, go ahead and make a uh, a spot hidden roll again. Oh, I'm eating my own hair. Sorry. <laughs> but he did. Yeah, no. Holy so, crap. You know what? Like it, all the nines tonight. Kind of funny. You're looking, you know, or it's, you, you maybe see something heading away. Like it looks like there's a wake. Uh, you know, the water is being parted. Something looks like it's it's heading out toward towards the ocean, like away away from the ship. Maybe, but you don't really see much else. You're looking around. Uh, I'm going as, to as you run random. Towards... I'm going to run up to it and try and shoot a shot at, towards it. Oh, it's in the distance. I mean, there's nothing oh, to shoot at. Run. Literally, you just, you know, okay. it just looks like something is breaking waves and stuff. I mean, yeah, go ahead if you like to take a shot. Go ahead. Oh, if it's gone, then no, I won't. Well, it's, a, it's up to you. I mean, I said it didn't I? So I'll do it. Go ahead. That's <laughs> how it should be. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I think that's that's a dolphin. Obviously. I believe in player agency. <laughs> that is, is the motive. Um, leaving, <laughs> leaving us on. Did, the I, did I did I roll that right? Uh yeah, a hundred percent. You did that right. And everybody below deck, uh, can make a listen roll, please. Yep, I heard that. Charles, you hear. Shot wow! You... From deck, you oh. you guys can hear it. Well, what kind of gun is it that you're shooting? It's a Glock. It is. Wow! A, uh, you you can hear. What a know, waste of good roll. From the deck of the ship, you can definitely hear uh, a shot being fired, a, shin, a, a single shot, and 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 the noise penetrates and reverberates back towards you guys while you're looking around, as you fumbled around the area. Um, I, I can imagine like a big kind of mass panic as we all rush for the door to head out the engine room and back up onto the deck. Uh, what about the rest of you guys? Are you imagining the same thing? Yeah, I think you would. Yeah. No. Um, if we all go charging out, um, looking for a way up onto the deck. Uh, uh yeah. I guess uh, weapons ready. Sure. 100%. Uh, so, uh, after a very short period of time, Ashley and Liz, you, you notice uh, that uh, the rest of the gang is coming up. Uh, they, they, Ashley, are you still like pointing the gun in a certain direction and looking? Yeah, where I saw the whole stand thing. down. What's yeah. going on? What's going on? You okay? I saw that thing. It was in the water. Um, go ahead and make me uh, spot hidden rolls, everybody who's now above deck and. Ashley, you can do it again as you're trying to point out where it is you think you saw what you saw. I have a s success. Oh, yes, Ashley. a hard success. I got a regular. Okay. Um. So, Ashley, you you you, you kind of see it again. You're, you're, you're pointing. You're excellent in the way that you're pointing it. Uh, but it's almost like two... Just... just something that is parting in the water that's parting Look, the water there. and seems There's to go the leaving deformed a polar bear. little bit of a wake but you see nothing other than that however yes. Charles hmm. you see exactly where she's pointing it looks like something a, a, a whale something in the water heading away in the direction of the uh the lila um uh, a regular because i got a regular as well yeah um uh brit uh sorry uh let's see oh, God. Matthew. Uh, matthew you got a regular are you, are you spending luck did you spend some luck too like, yeah matthew you, you don't it's not something you would know to spend luck for you don't well i mean you can okay we'll have you Spend your luck. So I know, yeah, no, I didn't get it. I was three off. I That's fine. Um, I need my glasses on. <laughs> so you 
uh, can see. And again, a Ashley, you, you you maybe just see some of the the water parting, but nothing else. Um, but uh, Charles would see something looking like it, it, it has some sort, and it, it's the back something milky white. It the fucking seems beluga, to have Ashley. The back um, of a head. Well, whale. Put it something. It, it's. It seems to have these spikes coming off towards the back. That's not a whale. Of, of its head, <laughs> um, and and you would see basically something that looks like the back, though just the back head and and back part of the torso of this. Oh, uh, it's Ashley, not a whale. It's a mutant polar bear, obviously. You don't see it at all, and uh, Brit. You're, he's pointing right there as if he could see it like plain as day. See nothing. What? And what is that? James? You what don't see it either. It's some kind of deformed polar bear and it came onto the boat and then the big girly scream from you lot made it run away. It's not a polar bear. That's a some kind of fish thing. I said it was deformed. Maybe a polar bear and a whale made it or something. I don't see anything. I how much have you had to drink today? Yeah, I think she got drunk while watching Free Willy. <laughs> is, is that all you've been doing while we've been exploring the ship? You've just been drinking? You need to have a word, Mark. Who, me? Don't be so bloody patronising. I'm not drunk and I saw it. And you know what? Fine. Don't... In for starters, and can you stop, stop pointing, waving that gun around? Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> and I think, you know, seeing that that thing that juts out with those, you know, spikes coming out the back of his head, Mac, you know, you're really it. the only one who sees it now uh, from everybody else. So go, go ahead and make a sanity roll because this is something that you... you can't understand why, you know. I mean, their eyes might not be as good, oh, and you man. do have the binoculars, so you are yeah. kind oh, of. I'll oh, definitely use the binoculars on it. I failed my sanity roll anyway. That's probably because of me using my binoculars. Yeah, you can, and you can show it to other people. They don't, and, oh. and you can lose two points of sanity as you know. You can see it clear as day through the binoculars, and everybody else looking at it. It just seems ominously, ominously heading out. Yeah, and I, I, I just kind of bring the binoculars down slowly, and I, I don't say anything. Uh, I, I, I look across at, at the rest of them. I said, um, "Look, we better, we better all stick together. Nobody goes off on their own." Are we, are we staying here, or should we, should we go back? Report. Well, what are we going to report? Well, that thing obviously said killed everybody. So there's no well, survivors. Everyone's dead. We, and like, it's, we it... don't have a clue what some, you know, misidentified killer whale is doing out here. Well, did you know that polar bears <clears throat> actually do like human flesh? In the middle of the Atlantic. It's an iceberg. It might have been stuck on the iceberg floated away so so yeah so the so the deformed polar bear has killed all the crew so that's it let's go out let's go back we just gotta we just gotta call this in right mac uh like danny uh we just gotta call this in and 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 that that's basically starts our claim right yeah but we don't know what we're dealing with like the people here are dead like someone's gonna have to investigate Well, so we're, what, what, we're not going to investigate <clears throat> it. Not well, professionals. We're, no, yeah. we, we're, like we're, literally, there's been a mass murder on this ship. It's like we're just a party ship going on a bit of a fun run, fun booze run, and we <clears> bumped <throat> into another ship, and there's lots of dead people. Let's get back and get help. You may want to get rid of your uh, map with uh, the altered altered course on it. Uh, I, I, what? <laughs> I, um, 
I'll say that quietly. Not yeah, like, I, well, okay. I, um, I, I just kind of <clears> nod <throat> then in, in response. Okay, let's let's get back to the Delilah. Uh, and as you head back into your little motorboat, and you turn it around and you're heading towards the Delilah, uh, if memory serves me correctly, it was about a 20-minute um, ride towards the Delilah. Yeah. Uh, and while you're at about, uh, actually, no, uh, who is piloting the ship? The, the, sorry, the boat. The, the boat. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I Would mean, I have, I, have the, I have the skill, but. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, and could... Why don't you? Oh, you didn't, you're going to make me roll it, though. <laughs> well, you're going to roll it at this point. Yeah. So just see how fast you're able to get back if you're okay. fighting against the tide. Well, oh. oh. Just... I didn't say I was any good. Oh, we've done it. We're you okay. See, I just gave you the opportunity to, you know, put the check mark check. in there yes. and improve it. That's I, really I all it was. That. Thank you um, very much. So as you're about, uh, let's say, five minutes out from the boat, um, why don't you, everybody, go ahead and make me a listen? Oh, it's a very noisy engine. Yeah, it is. It is quite noisy. Um, the, 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 the motoring is very quiet. Mm -hmm. um, and everything is fine. Uh, mm. And uh, you get back to the boat. So let us um, put the boat. My, uh, my, Delilah. my Delilah. As you get back up to the Delilah, um, it seems to be rather quiet. There was nobody left on board except Captain Stubings and Cindy. Um, but you do find it odd that, uh, you know, you bring the motor back, uh, motorboat back, and, you know, a, a lot of the time Cindy will be there to, you know, take the rope and tie it off and help bring the, uh, the ship back up. But uh, she's not there. Maybe she's, you know, down taking a nap. Uh, or something. It, it is, you know, kind of middle to late afternoon. Um, uh, but everything seems to be quiet on the boat. I'm going straight through to the bar bit to get a bar to get a drink. Holy shit! Okay, so um, exactly where would that be? Uh, main deck aft lounge? Would that be? Uh, are you going straight to the uh, dining room area, the galley? Where exactly are you going to to get a drink? I'm just wondering where we've been getting the drink from. Well, I, I think in the dining room there's that little half shape there by the end of the table, and I reckon mobile bar. Yeah, um, that, that's one of the places. <laughs> the sun lounge would be the second place. So yeah, either yeah, either so way. I'm going to go to the dining room because there's going to be always alcohol in the dining. Room. Uh, okay, um, as you uh, as. You're heading to the dining room. Let's see what what are others doing. I'll be secure in the the boat, the motorboat to the uh, the Delilah. I think that so I'll probably be the last to get off. Uh, okay, then. excellent. So are you actually preparing to bring it back up to put it in its area where the dinghy goes? Uh, I think on that the... yeah, that would probably be um, yeah that that makes a lot of sense. I think okay. we're we're planning to leave, so I I don't think we'd be keeping the motorboat. All right, excellent. Uh, and then, uh, what are Daniel and uh, Matt doing? We is the motorboat going in the rear of the ship, like, like it is on the drone. So, do we come on at the rear of the ship? Uh, you do come on in the rear of the ship, and then um, there's uh, some sort of lift mechanism to help get the, uh, the 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 dinghy with the motor boat. The motor part is kind of heavy, so uh, that would help uh, put it into uh, into place. I'm gonna make a yeah. I think we can make a sea line for yeah, free pilot area. Uh, oh, which one? The um, <clears throat> where the radio is likely to be. Uh, well, okay. So you know that uh, it's actually done on from both locations. Oh yes, yeah. Two deck pilot. Whichever one would probably have the radio. I would have thought the other one. Uh, okay, so uh, as you're heading towards the the <clears throat> upper deck directly, um, uh, you'll be the first to uh, discover it as Mac seems to be trying to, you know, uh, get the boat up with uh, Matthew's help. Um, but in the sun lounge, 
uh, you see um, Captain Stubings uh, splayed across oh. uh, the the couches. Um, n not far from him is Cindy, uh, also splayed out. You can see that there are uh, champagne glasses that are uh, spilled over and uh, broken, and there is also a... Oh, one of Max's nicer bottles of champagne also uh, knocked Those over. Cheeky bastards. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, you know whether or not Cindy is topless at the time with Captain <laughs> Stubings, that's unimportant for the story. Um, uh, but you notice uh, that uh, in Cindy's hand uh, uh, close by, there is also a gun that has been recently fired. You can see casings uh, on the on uh, on the floor, um, it looks like they have been um, uh, clawed to death, or 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 or, or and smashed uh, to death. Uh, you know, with uh, like some sort of blunt object. Um, you could see that everything on this top area is is just in disarray. Um, Ashley. As you head towards the aft lounge and you are heading into the dining room uh, looking for a, uh, a drink at the bar, uh, mm -hmm. you notice that uh, in the area where the dining room is, the table looks like it has been uh, splayed across. The chairs have been uh, disturbed and knocked over. Um, and uh, any doorway uh, heading towards uh towards the front of the ship has also been uh, uh smashed open um i get my glock out and shout charles the polar bear thing has been here uh, and charles you're, you're you're securing the ship and you're trying to get it up and that would be the first thing that you hear what now are you okay to finish up here asked matthew yeah i'll I'll finish off with the boat. And I'll sigh heavily and kind of get to my feet and make my way towards where Ashley's calling. What now? That, the, the deformed polar bear's been here. You sh you, your boat's f***ed up. What? And as you go in, you can see that the dining room is, is, is completely in a disarray. The table is knocked over. Uh, the chairs are knocked over. It looks like uh, something has uh, disturbed a path all the way towards uh, the pilot area. And at the pilot area, you see that uh, similar to how the pilot area in the reefer uh, was smashed. It doesn't look like this has been... Um, the damage here is not as extensive, only because there's not as much equipment to smash. Uh, but it has been smashed utterly and completely. The controls are all gone. They're part of the uh, the, the 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 buttons and levers and 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 electronics seem to have been uh, smashed uh, and think? broken. And you could see parts uh, that are on the floor beside it or near it, uh, as if something uh, had taken something very blunt and uh, and damaged it severely. What the. Fuck, Snoobings! Cindy, where the fuck are you? Um, and uh, at that, uh, Dan, you hear uh, Mac calling for Snoobings and Cindy. I mean, were they both here? I can't remember. No, it's Cindy. Yes. Yeah. They're no, both, both of them are, yes. They're, yeah. They're well, slaving. they're here. Um, so you hear up from on top of the deck. They're up here! Okay. I, I say I make my way up. What the hell's happened here? What the fuck's going on? Uh, and as you come up to the sun deck, you can see that uh, Captain Stubings is splayed out. His night nice white uniform is, uh, is, is saturated red blood uh, as he has been smashed and rent and torn. Um, you could see a cigar uh, that is kind of just uh, smoldering out. Uh, at the side, uh, Cindy uh, has been uh, her her 
her belly is exposed and open as uh, she has also been uh, eviscerated and clawed and smashed. Um, you could see beside her there is a uh, a small weapon, a, a, a six shooter handgun, um, uh, with uh, casings all around as if it's been uh, recently fired. Does it look like a Steven's got bullet holes in him? <laughs> uh, hard to see from the damage, but I, I'll allow a medicine check for that. Oh, goody. Yeah, never mind. Specialty. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you could also use spot hit in and stuff, but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, you wouldn't really. You don't. It it, it looks like whatever killed Stubings was not bullet holes. Yeah, so it looks bullets. like there's a lot of damage there that wouldn't have been caused by a couple of bullets. From... Yeah, right. Uh, and and looking towards the piloting area on top, you could see similar damage. Can we see any bullet holes Anywhere. in the walls or the back? Because if there's no holes, that means they hit something. Is... Which is probably more concerning. Uh, you <laughs> you find trail. bullet casings on the floor. Um, but go ahead and uh, make spot hidden. Oh, so uh, 50 is very good. Uh, I'm going to say that you're, you're kind of based on how you see the weapon. You're concentrating your search in the area that it looks like it may have been fired towards and a little bit out given... And it, you find an absence of bullet holes anywhere in the ship. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. <clears throat> Whatever yeah. they were shooting at, they must have hit. I mean, uh, sure, I saw something in the water, but I, I don't know what it... it I figured it was... Whatever it was, it's gone now. Probably have a look to see if it's like any if we can see anything around otherwise it's either still here or it's underneath yeah so i shout out the <clears throat> where is everyone i start coming up behind you because obviously you went up that way but well, i, need, I make... did manage to find a bottle of something on the way do you need to make okay. a sanity check for finding stubings cindy at all or are we okay with i've that? seen worse um you know, I think uh, a lot worse. <laughs> I think so. I think that 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 yes, given Trending. given the things that Sandy okay. rolled, so we'll... and I failed. <laughs> and you failed by three. So go ahead, take one point of sanity as the realization comes to you. Not only that, hey, at first you're thinking, but, but I've sold the ship. Yeah, <laughs> and now it's damaged ship like this, and now you're thinking. I can't deliver the ship at all. And and so all of this this weight and pressure uh, and and what is this thing uh yeah. seems to uh to weigh heavy on your yeah. character. I come up stairs. Is it the stairs I'd have to take to get to behind them anyway? Where were they? Are they on the sun deck? Yeah, yes, on they the, are on the, the sun deck. Yeah. I'm gonna grab the champagne bottle. Is there anything left in it? Um, it's partial because it was, uh, yeah. I kind of look at the label. Good it was choice. one of the nicer ones. Yeah. They got what they deserved. Have you found them? Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, um, maybe don't come up here. What? Stop treating me like I'm a wet weekend. <laughs> Suit yourself. <laughs> uh, go up the stairs. Do I walk straight into them and see them? Uh, I guess. You can, I haven't you... covered them up. <laughs> uh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh my uh, god. You... Yeah. Seriously? How the hell are we going to get home now? Really? <laughs> see, and... this is what happened when you piss off nature. That polar bear is really pissed off with us. So we shut the fuck up. <laughs> As about throw off. Get the boat yeah. started. Let's get out of here. We're not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, go outside says, and push. As he says, as Max says to Ashley, Ashley, shut up. Ashley, you get a little nervous. You're getting like this is not your ship. Uh plans, whatever plans with Mac or Mac had or you had don't seem to be panning out now under the pressure, and you start to fidget. 
again you start to take that pen out of your pocket and you start to fidget with it as you talk and uh go ahead and uh everybody make me spot hidden rolls please uh oh uh, can i have come Whoa. up back now oh my god excrete extreme 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 An excreting success <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Matthew must have finished by now, right? Is he? A, can he join us? Uh, yes. No, he would. Me and well, Liz I mean, have gone off on jet ski. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, he oh, he didn't. Out of here. <laughs> uh, he didn't actually get a chance to bring the boat up yet. Okay. Uh, all the activity and all the screaming has brought him up to the okay. sun deck, and the boat is just tied out to the bottom. All right. Um. And uh. So yes. So go ahead. You can make your spot hidden roll. I want to do a sanity for the two dead bodies as well. If you like. Oh, did I need to do a sanity? Um, I don't yeah. know that your character. Yeah, why don't we do the sanity? Will not affect me yet. No, oh, you guys are both. I'm too pissed. Given I'm everything care. else, I think what disturbs you more is how do we get home? Yeah, than I it. Yeah. Anything else at this point? Um, spotted in first time, done my sanity. Yeah, so uh, your spot hidden was uh, 43. Uh, Regular correct. success, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm okay with my sanity. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Worse when I was on drugs, so. <laughs> now, just to kind of place everybody, okay? Mm -hmm. um, the uh, Delilah is out in the middle of the ocean um towards uh towards the starboard of it is uh where looking across that that in the distance is uh where we have the reefer and uh all of the uh the the icebergs in the area um, so as you guys are on deck, absorbing everything that is going on from the port side, as Ashley is twiddling around nervously as Mac is, is seemed to be getting a little uh, uh, aggressive uh, with her uh, um, uh, and you're twiddling around, uh, Mac and, and Ashley notice uh, from the port side uh, this creature rearing up outside of the water. Uh, it has this huge bow and arrow on it. And again, I'll place the uh, the image of what you specifically see coming out of the water. And it is aiming this large bow and arrow directly at Mac. And it fires. And as you scream out over there, uh, Dan and Matthew are looking in that area and see absolutely nothing. Mm. You don't know what they're screaming about. Um, but exactly the same space, it's just that we just can't see it. The exactly the same space, but boom, <clears throat> out of air, out of nowhere, apparently, you see this large harpoon Oof. coming straight towards the ship. Chit Everybody oh, sees that. Uh, so uh, we are going to go ahead and do some rolls over here. Uh, this harpoon is clearly coming straight towards Mac. Uh oh. Uh, and so let's see. Uh, so that would be that a doesn't... success. <laughs> so go ahead and make your dodge roll because you Catch can it. see this coming. Uh oh. <clears throat> Catch it with your body. I have failed. <laughs> Catch it with your teeth. Is that something you want to uh, push? Um, <clears throat> uh, 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 I'm going to say yes. I think this seems like the, uh, an opportune time to push a roll. I, I, I think you, yes. Um, I don't know how I do it on Fantasy Grounds. Uh, you would just have to re-roll re it, I believe. Okay. Uh, dodge. Dear. Not like it's particularly good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so wow. So, <laughs> yeah, you dodged into the path of the projectile. Yeah, this is not, All right. not good. Uh, Great so news. 
yes. Uh, so uh, this thing is 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 coming, and it is going to impale you. Oh. Um, and uh, oh, so you see this thing coming straight towards you, and it is uh, doing five points of damage as Ooh. it kind of just like. Now, oh, it, it, as it as it does this, it, it kind of it it kind of, you know, go. It, it doesn't go through you, okay? But it kind of it 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 pins you down. So you are now as uh, as Dan found this thing embedded in the hull. You are now impaled by this thing, um, uh, and and uh, this thing is still sticking through you inside the. Let's see where Ow. you will be on top of your ship. Uh, yeah, it's it's going to be in the side and. In, mm. in in the sun lounge in in a uh, part of the ship. Well, yeah. Have a seat. <laughs> uh, I'll be over in a sec to pull it out. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. Guess and... I'm gonna. I think I'll probably uh, scream. Can out. we see it? It we might can't even see be you shot it, but we can see I don't the thing. Know. Uh, you cannot see it. Uh, the, the bolt. That the <laughs> bolt. Yes, you could see the bolt. But we can't see, see what through it. Come out of the the. The hey, air, just two. Kind of mid air, <laughs> um, and what it's very similar to the harpoon that you found. You just don't see the source of how it was there. Um, but we're going to go on initiative now to give everybody a turn. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'm moving. <laughs> no, you're, you won't yeah, be moving. Just, just, um, hang, just stay where you are. Yeah, just stick there. <laughs> yeah, just stick around. Stick, stick around. around. Um, I'm not uh, doing it. Where's initiative? I think you got the point. So the initiative tracker is on the uh, right hand side. It would be the two cross swords, uh -huh. and if you click it, you'll see that the initiative tracker comes up. And indeed, uh, Ashley, you'll be the first one to react. Okay, so I would run to where I think the harpoon came and hang over the edge of the boat, see if I can see anything. Uh, so you can see it. Uh, yes, you you can see it. I will you... then shoot my gun. You, you don't have your gun drawn. Oh. I might have. You might have. Roll. <laughs> let's roll luck. I, I, I've had a feeling I've not put my gun away, personally. Um, oh, I mean, you need boo. a free hand to hold your boots. So <laughs> as you've been, as you're fiddling around with this, this thing oh, yeah, because of this nervous uh, twitch you have to constantly pick up things that, you know, and, and, and have things upon you. Um, so uh, describe what you are doing. I'm going into my bag to get my Glock and drop the pen in there. All right. Uh, so as you drop the pen, you notice that the creature disappears from sight. Oh. Pull out your gun. You don't see it. I... I would shoot yeah, where I last saw it. it, in the water. Sure, so go ahead and uh, fire, but you're going to have to use a penalty die. Um, okay. That, so that... Plus one P, press plus one P button before you do the okay. roll. Okay. I think. Yeah, that is correct. <clears throat> oh, nice. You uh, okay. Um, so, uh, Go ahead and, and roll your damage. <laughs> I'd love it if she just kills it. <laughs> um. Oh, nice. nice. Okay. Hey, well. <laughs> um. Is that good? What? It's nine it, on a ten. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> Cool. Um, you don't see what happens because you no. don't see the creature anymore. No, yeah. Um, uh, Charles, as you yes. feel impaled by this harpoon, um, you can feel that the 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 material itself seems unusually cold um uh freezingly so intensely so 
as your the inner part of your body seems to be exposed uh, to this thing impaling you. So right off the bat, you're going to take another point of damage oh. uh, as you begin your turn for having I, this I, thing. I was thinking I, I probably want to take a sanity roll as well. Right? Yes, uh, you, you, if you feel that's... I think it's appropriate. Um, you did see the thing literally fire this six-foot arrow at yeah. you. You, you, as you're trying to, I have to dodge out of this thing and think and grasp it. You weren't able to because of the delay. Um, and now you're kind of like, well, Stubings is dead. Mm. I'm the captain of the ship. I'm responsible for everybody here. And you don't suffer any sanity loss. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in, sh <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, so I, yeah, I, I perhaps the only thing that, that that Charles could probably do right now is just basically kind of go, "I've been shot." <laughs> <laughs> Mad down. Uh, Tip yeah. the champagne on it. <clears throat> Sterilizes the wound. I, I don't, I'm, it, this is a one this step is a at a time. <laughs> and, uh, this is expensive. I'll, I'll try to render assistance. Like, I can't see the whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, I'll I'll go to I can help. Uh, so we'll we'll move over to from from Mac to uh, to Dan, and uh, basically we're going to be Question telling one. him like on three, one, two, and uh, what are you trying yeah, to do? Yeah. One. Okay. We'll go on three. One pull. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that's end of him. <laughs> uh, yeah. Go ahead. And I'll, I'll spend five. Um, uh, you're good you're, you're but, doing it with a. Uh, a bonus die for the aid, by the way. So you can just roll it oh, one more okay. time. Oh, okay. Uh, wonderful. Yes. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, so I'll, I'll spend well, the five spend extra look. <laughs> I mean, I think you know. Basically, what you, you need to be doing is, you know, obviously you have to brace your boot on Mac's chest and pull to say, you know, that's really the only way to get yeah. the leverage was, necessary. It might be worse. I think you'd yeah. like snap it and yeah. then pull it through. Which would hurt like a bit. It hasn't got a barb on it, has it? <laughs> I mean, it does we'll on the picture. In a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the picture doesn't look too. Yeah. Roll damage. Like, oh, we'll, look, we'll find yeah. out in a second. Well, I've got it out. Uh, Max Liver's on the end of it, but. Yeah. yeah. He wasn't used to get anyway. <laughs> he wasn't. He didn't so need it. It was fucked yeah. anyway. He'd been out yeah, of it. It, too it long. turns out it's just a Reaper and it's just put its liver out of his misery. <laughs> it's gone to a better place. And Matt, what is Matt doing at this point? Um, panicking. Yeah, so I I see nothing apart from uh, Mac being pinned to his ship. Correct. Um, da, 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 da. I will. Uh, you wish... did see Ashley firing into the distance, maybe approximately from the direction that that harpoon came from. I'll, I'll probably look in that direction, but I don't see anything. Uh, oh, you could try a spot hold... hidden roll. I can try. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Wrong thing. Come on. Ooh, hard you don't see anything. So. At all. all right. Are you heading towards Mac to see if yeah, you can? Yeah, I'd, I'd go over to Mac to see if I can give assistance. Okay. Um. So, um, what? How exactly are you going to uh, assist? Have you pulled the harpoon out? Don't no, uh, he has not. Uh, I don't well, know. No, I'm, he failed, I'm, didn't he? Got... Yeah, but you could spend luck. No, I right? spent luck. Yeah, I spent for, for luck. To... Spent for a ah. success. Yeah. I don't know what the success gets me. Uh... Oh, the, if, the that get, if that just oh, you, I'm sorry, the, you did that... spent. You spent yeah, the, the five. The, you yeah. spent the five to uh, succeed. <laughs> So I, I'm going to say yes. You 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 have succeeded in in dislodging it from the side of the um, of the ship, but it is still impaled inside of uh, of Mac. Uh, yeah. And Mac, as as Brit, you know, yeah. comes over to you, and and I mean, are you doing anything special? Are you coming to uh, to? Are you trying to? You know, uh, well, you describe to me how you think you're going to be able to help Mac now. Um. 
probably by putting a bullet in his head. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, where's, erase where's, your debt. Uh, as he comes over, it? Mac basically will grab hold of his arm. I'm yes. kind of looking into his face. I'm going, he fucking shot me. Dodge, he fucking shot me. Where's he impaled? Is it through his stomach or through his? Uh, yeah, but we'll say the 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 uh, uh, you know right at his side. Would I do? I think it's survivable. Just going like first impressions. Is it? Do you, you want to make a medicine check? I can, I can, I can with my big one percent, percent. Um, just go. Oh, Hack's totally dead, isn't he? <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look good, does it? Nah. <laughs> Do you want to spend four? Oh, yeah, years? with that fail, totally survivable. He's he's he'll probably be fine. I mean, according to your medical and and you know what, Mac, as 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 Matt is, is coming closer to you, you you know yeah, that watch that watch keeps <laughs> bugging you. Okay, <laughs> as you're looking at the watch, you could see that it is it, it looks similar to yours, but. <laughs> It's obviously like some sort of of cheap, yeah, knockoff. cheap knockoff. You know, now you're looking at it. Yeah, the 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 the, the diving head looks good, but you can see that you know it, it was probably like the 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 silver uh, you know casing of it. It's it's already scratched. It's it's scratched in many places. You could see the the great dull plastic <laughs> behind it, and you notice that it's 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 a rubber band. It's not a nice silver band like yours. It's it's you know just a cheap. Uh, yeah, a cheap replica, maybe, of what you have. So, um, and I'll you know, be getting a new maybe one. Maybe if your character so. is going to die, at least you'll die with the knowledge that you know he's not taking borrowed money from you to buy fancy things for him. Uh, and, he's you know, just admitted he's going to rob my body. <laughs> he's going to loot the corpse. I'll, man. I'll get a nice new one when my yeah. uh, departs. This, uh, uh, yeah. So uh, I think I'll just try and reassure him. I'll, I know better than to try and remove the harpoon. Um, that would just cause him probably more pain and probably finish him off. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll just try and um, assure him and maybe get him to, I don't know, sit down. Could I do some type of first aid? Is he, yeah, sure. Is yeah, he you bleeding try, you try away, first or? aid for sure. This is where I will kill you. <laughs> Critical failure. Wait. Oh, I've got quite decent first aid. Oh, oh. oh, oh, okay. A hard success. So I I didn't you. Say, with that hard success, um, you know, you, you realize that that, you know, keeping it in is also no good because you could you could t see that he's in, in 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 very much pain already. It looks like around the wound. It looks like things are crystallizing over. Uh, you haven't really seen this type of thing before, but he's he looks like he's crying out yeah. in intense pain. And and since the shaft is kind of smooth and it's certainly not barbed at the end, it's kind of really straight. Um you you, you manage to ease um Charles out uh, of this thing to at least stop that that crystallization process uh from happening and then now you're just trying to staunch the the wound on both sides with uh it, it's taking a little time so but that's what your it, your hard success uh gives you for now stick my fingers in both ends of the hole <laughs> like yeah, exactly that's the okay. dutch boy <laughs> uh and you know what let's move over to ashley That's you. It is me. <laughs> so I'm hanging over the boat. This thing's gone. Yeah. Well, it, I, I'd say more correctly, it seems to have disappeared. Okay, so I'm going to keep searching, scanning the area to see if I see any ripples, movements, and listening and see. What, um, okay, sure. Go ahead. You can make both a spot hidden and a listen roll. Um, search. Oh, well, it's back. Regular success for spot hidden, and then a listen. Oh man! Oh uh, no! I'm while while I'm hanging over and looking and doing the spot hidden, I'm shouting um, across. Do you need any help there? 
<laughs> While looking. That's mm -hmm. why I don't hear anything. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to say that while you don't uh, see anything uh, specific, <coughs> you do see the water parting. Okay. As it, uh, as, as something seems to be coming, uh, the, the water is parting and that part is heading towards the boat. Still got my gun pointing out to That's it. That's fine. Um, if you want, you can take a, a shot at that area. But I might take a shot and then shout, it. it's coming back. Um... Um, uh, and uh, you fire, but you, you you still see that thing coming. And, and from where you are looking out over the deck, and everybody's on the other side, really, uh, where Mac is, and they're, they're, they're dealing with that whole injury and that wound there, uh, you feel that something kind of bumps hard into the, the boat. You can, you kind of hear the echo of a thud, and, and it's... I mean, it's a large boat, so you're not really going to feel the boat vibrate or shake. But it's clear to you that uh, that something seems to have impacted at the side of the boat. I just turn around and go, um, everybody, it's coming back. Get yourselves <laughs> armed up. It's coming back. All right. And then I turn uh, around and yank the thing out of um, Charles. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it, it, it's already been yanked out. Uh, mm. Charles, um, you, you're 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 losing blood. I, oh, I've got medical. Ah, do you? Okay. Uh, so, I don't, it's not a lot, but it's I've got first aid of thirty. And what's your medical? Yeah, I said for medical instead of first aid by accident. Okay. All right. I got um, confused. It just sort of, yeah. Yeah. Mac. Uh, okay. I, I guess at this point, um, I'm, I'm kind of uh, short of breath and I'm kind of saying, I'm, I'm telling them where the first aid kit is. It's, you know, down in the lounge. The first aid kit's beneath the, beneath the seat. It's the first aid kit. All right. Um, Daniel. Yeah, I'm gonna get ready. I'll put a make a defensive like position near Mac. All right, um, I'm so actually going to, to ask room. you, um, <clears throat> it, just because it's more appropriate in this case, to go ahead and make a first aid idea roll. Oh, so you're gonna make uh, a first aid roll as as not as applying first aid, but applying your knowledge. Um, God dang it. <laughs> so you spent you spent two. Yeah, I'll spend two. Um, so uh, you remember uh, on the reefer, there was a very nice, well-equipped medical uh, medical room uh, that has way more equipment. Yeah. Than you know that little first aid kit that Mac is directing you to go. That's underneath the pilot seat. <laughs> The problem is we'd have to get Mac to the boat, the speedboat. I. That's that's what a success gives you. Okay. You do with it what you will. <laughs> well, a better success with the idea roll anyway. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to. Who's still here and hasn't? If everyone, well, no one's gone off. Yeah. I'm still hanging over the edge looking at the... Yeah, oh, we, should, we should get him to the reefer because like, they may have more like better first aid supplies over there than what we have here. Apparently someone cheaped on the first aid here and just buy more booze. Ha! Huh. <clears throat> That's karma, that is, isn't it? Yep. And now all your booze is gone and you didn't <laughs> need a serious first aid. <laughs> yeah, the, per the karma fairy turned up and she got wasted. What do you really think going over there? And what all of us? I mean, they'll have proper tools. I mean, I mean, he's basically like in a compromised position. 
And if only one person goes with, like, what chance do they have? Like, we need to stick together. Right, so we all go over there, we quickly patch him up, sew him up a bit, bring him back. Which boat is the best boat to get his own? None of them, because this one's not good. They're both crashed. The jet ski. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, the, little, the, little, the little boat we usually go back and forth is probably the how, best option. How far from land are we? They're like in the middle of the Atlantic. Oh, um, Charles! <laughs> we're, not um, getting, we're not getting to land, then. Uh, Charles! <laughs> Berg. <laughs> Captain did radio for help, didn't he? Yes, he did. Not yet. Charles. He was still. It was due to do it in a couple of hours yeah, from now. Yeah, I we. Are... I, I don't know. I don't know. He. <clears throat> Looked a I mean, bit he's he's, he's, he's dead. There. He's dead, Ashley. Did you tell him to radio? I told him. Yeah, of course I told him to radio. But he's dead. He's dead. Yes, but if he had radioed for help, we'll have help coming soon. Yes. Look, I don't know if I can hold out that long. No, but we'll go to the other boat and patch you up. But I'm just checking that he radioed for help. Cause well, it's we the... can't we can't confirm that he radioed for help. Yeah, but if Charles instructed him to radio for help, then that's fine. There'll be help on the way. I mean, that doesn't guarantee that he radioed for help. We don't know about Dennis's satellite phone, do we? Oh, no, but Dennis does. Yeah, but we don't. Oh, damn it, Dennis. Oh, I do get my phone out, by the way, and check for signal. Uh yeah, no signal here. There's no there's no satellite towers. Um I, that's not uh, I, um, I Where is Dan? She you forgot him over. on the other ship. We left him on the <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> 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 engines on the ship. Yeah, we left him. He's we still left on the reefer. Him. You watch that other ship sailing off into the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Fixed it. <laughs> And we're yeah, all uh, down. Dennis was a giant. Yeah, what nationality is time. Dennis? You see that flag now flying on the reefer and it sets it's off. Big yeah, skull and crossbones. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, so is there. Um, right, let, okay, let's go to the other boat then. God. Is there any more guns in the, on this boat? Can't remember. Uh, well, so there are all those shotguns. You do uh, find. Do you, you, do, you did find a gun by uh, Cindy's body. All right, so I. I um, is it a big it gun or a little gun? Will it go in my bag? Uh, it'll go in your bag. I'll. Uh, yeah, I'll I, I will. Is it, I mean, how many bullets are left in it? There's a lot of casings on the floor there. Uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's take a let's let's resolve that. Um, I think it would be probably a uh, a little uh, probably a little thirty-two. Does that sound? Uh, yeah. Reasonable. I've uh, actually six... got a gun. Six shots, so uh, why don't we have some fun? And uh, <laughs> Angie, go ahead and roll a uh, six sided dice. Oh, I know why. Oh. I know why. How do I roll a six? It's which number That's in the why. order of the party that she dies? <laughs> oh, all right. You have four bullets left. You found oh, two okay. That's that awful are kind of on me. the side, okay. so it still has uh, four bullets. And I will uh, put the gun in your inventory, Ashley, since you grabbed it. Well, so, actually, before you do that, I'll just turn around to Ashley and go, have you got a gun? You are, Ashley. No, yes, Liz. Right, uh, Liz. Liz. Right, Liz. Liz. I mean, you are drunk. But... Drink, still drinking. <laughs> yes. I am still drinking. I got a drink. I brought it up with me. And she's um, doing double of herself. So Liz says, no, don't worry about me. And she pulls out this small little switchblade and she starts to fidget with it, similar to how you fidget with your silver pen. Uh, she'll take the gun, but she probably won't know much what to do with it, but I just she'll go, take it. God's sake, Liz, have you not seen what's happening around you? You need a gun and... I just... think you guys are all nuts. I what haven't seen like anything. Any and and she'll look seen at Matthew. Anything, Matthew, Matthew, you... Oh my... Matthew, you haven't seen anything. Matthew's no. been so heroic. Monster? I haven't seen any monsters. I mean, oh, you've we seen don't... a giant some, magic spear that's just... impaled <laughs> the cap... <laughs> the... The dude. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. I saw. Fired that into you, 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 and you found one people? on the ship as well. Lots of dead people. That just that happens, little, does it? I told crazy. you. It's not a polar bear. But... There's a deformed polar bear attacking everybody. Uh, An invisible space deformed polar bear. She is bear. taking the gun. Okay. Can we, can, you, can we argue about this on the on the boat? <laughs> By the way, uh, remember we had all that ammo and shotguns for the ski shoot. Um, Charles, did you have any whiskey downstairs? Have... <laughs> yeah, probably. Fuck's sake, Ashley, really? 
You're such a twat. I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for you. You're the one that's in pain, but no, fine, suffer. Yeah. No, she's gonna. Yeah, she's asking for you, but she'll drink it. <laughs> yeah, she'll go <laughs> fetch it. I'll go and fetch it and put it in my bag now. He's not having it. He can fucking suffer. Yeah, I'm gonna drink what's left in this bottle of champagne that I'm holding. Um, maybe and, that'll and, help. Um, and as you guys get back into the motorboat, I understand that your plan now is to get back to the reefer. So as you head out towards it, uh, who feels the luckiest? Ah, uh, my roles tonight, not me. I think well. Charles is probably not feeling the luckiest at this moment. Forty-five left. So, who is actually um, piloting the boat since oh, Nash shit. is not going to be able to? Oh, uh, What crap. skill pilot boat? I've uh, got a pilot, skill. Pilot of, boat. I can do pilot boat of 21. There you go. I don't, okay. I don't even so have that on my character. You, uh, so, <clears throat> as you take control, Chuck, Mac, we got to get you back to that ship. And you get everybody in and you begin to start piloting the boat. Go ahead and make a luck roll. You do want me to do a boat pilot roll? No, boat? I'd like okay. it. no it's, it's not that mm. kind of roll. It's a luck roll. Yeah, no, I failed. So, uh, as you head I'm drunk. <laughs> towards the boat, at some point between the Delia and the Reefer, your motorboat runs out of fuel. And oh. that is where we will stop for the break. As you head back towards the reefer, uh, um, and you're, you're traveling there, you hear uh, a noise coming from the, the back motor. It's a sputtering, sputter, 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 and then it just, it falls dead. Um, so, uh, Angie, since you were uh, so lucky today, why don't you go ahead and roll the uh, D20? D20 in Cthulhu. Yes. Yeah, we're going to roll it. Surprise, 5th edition. So, Did I need to roll low? actually, um, you, your um, motorboat ran out of fuel after 18 minutes, which means you're approximately a two-minute boat ride from <laughs> the ship. Uh, so you almost made it. You got it 90% of the way there. But you're still stuck now somewhere between the Delilah and the Reefer. Um, um, are there any backup pedals? Paddles. Pedals. <laughs> it's a pedal. Yeah, so... Yeah. so uh, Matthew, as you're looking around for this, why don't you go ahead and make a luck roll? Or can I also, at the same time, can I look for... We've got <laughs> driving <laughs> gear. Have we got any oxygen tanks? Well, uh, why don't you go ahead and make a luck roll? No oxygen in them. Uh, where's it gone? Luck roll. I don't do luck. <laughs> it's Watch overrated, it. isn't it? Yeah, this this character's not the best. He's lucky today. Hey. Okay. Uh, you are lucky. So, I will say this. I will give you an option. You find two things in this ship one you find the emergency paddles they're there they were always there where your choice comes in is you can either choose to yes find an air canister there or b to find a, a petrol canister there however you will need to make another luck roll to find if the petrol Canada actually uh, the petrol, sorry, because we have petrol Canada in Canada, it's a gas station, so I'm getting mixed <laughs> up. But if the petrol canister, which sounds a lot like Petro Canada to me, <laughs> if the petrol canister um, has uh, fuel left in it or not, that you will need to make a luck roll. Uh, mm -hmm. Whereas the uh, air canister will be there and it'll be full. So you have that luck, that luck success gives you the choice of those two things. The mm -hmm. oars and a full can of, of it's all scuba, on you. scuba air yeah. or a canister, but does it have enough fuel in it? Does it have any fuel in it? Which will what be another. 
She's I'm diving. Trying to blow up, don't. Blow diving. up. Diving. Oh, oh gotcha. You're on petrol. You're not going in that water with that um, deformed polar bear. We, we get on the ship. That comes on the ship, we all die. The petrol will just get us to the ship and it will just prolong our life for maybe a few minutes and then we die. The oxygen tank, there's a chance we can kill it. We've got to be able to see it. Can I just put forward a third option that we actually oh, do haunted. find that we actually do find a Petro Canada and all our problems are solved? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, how are they all solved? We can paddle to the ship well, because there's supplies and yeah, exactly. there's petrol, <laughs> um, and yeah, yeah, there'll be a phone, there'll be a payphone, a convenience store. <laughs> exactly. Will there be, will there be uh, oxygen tanks on the ship? <laughs> So you know that on the ship there are um there was a CO2 room that you do know you saw it yeah for the room So generally a CO2 room would have large canisters of CO2 um you noticed on the ship there was a whole system of um you, you know in the freezer holds and going throughout uh piping for CO2 for two reasons one is as a fire suppressant uh, and the second reason was actually uh, for cooling the ship and keeping um, the uh, all of the produce, uh, you know, refrigerated, hence reefer. So you do know that you do have those on on the reefer. I'm just going with the oxygen tank because that, in that's in Jaws, isn't it? It, it shoots the... He does. Tank. Um, right. Okay, you just need so, a pressurized tank. If I go for the... Um, canister of petrol and there's no petrol uh that's charles's you, fault <laughs> you still have the oars all right we still, uh, still got the oars yeah true okay then i'll i'll go um go canister of petrol and you want a look roll yes i do make Shall it we? good i will now fail you can do it well on so let me describe this petrol can for you it is not one of these big heavy metal ones but it's actually one of these nice uh, you know small red uh plastic ones um mm -hmm. Nobody has bothered to actually uh, fill it with fuel or the fuel was already consumed. So you do have a nice flotation device now. Is that Captain Stubbins, whatever it was called? What a waste of space. Well, I think you'll probably find that um, somebody took the petrol out of that and put it into the jet ski because they were jetting around. <laughs> <in> a... <laughs> it, that, that could be. It could be that the last oh, yeah. person going out on the jet ski was... Yeah, there, there was that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe the person riding the jet ski ran out of fuel and had they had to come in the the the, the motorboat and sure that, that's uh, completely I possible. It. <laughs> that's hilarious. All right, so hilarious. who's going to make a good strength roll for uh, rowing back to the reefer if that is indeed what you're doing now? Charles. Yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to say me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, yeah, I he don't just does one arm and we just go around in a circle. All right. Um, <laughs> Ashley, you know, again, taking command. She was the one who was piloting the ship. She just gets, she, she, uh, pushing Matthew out of the way. You just grab the two oars and you lock him into place and you start to pull and pull and pull. I have got 85 yeah. strength. There's booze on that wreckage. Yeah. And, uh, Ashley, as, as you are, you're pulling, you're facing away from the reefer. <laughs> uh as you pull and, and you're heading and everybody else is directing you um so why don't doesn't everybody else make a uh spot hidden roll and ashley you're gonna make a luck roll uh -oh. Ah, oh. dream success a four wow okay very good so go ahead and make a Make us, then you can make the spot hidden roll. Definitely, Ashley. No, I didn't see anything. That's a shame. Well, these. Okay. I'm going to spend my luck past spot hidden then. Uh, okay. So. Nine, uh, nine of my luck then, do I? You're spending nine of your luck. Okay. Um, so as you spend nine of your luck, 
Um, Mac is is you know kind of staring out. He's you know the, the bleeding is 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 you know kind of you're trying to the bleeding is trying to be stopped with with anything that you had around. You know you're getting in the water. You've been 18 minutes bleeding out, and you you're kind of feeling a little bit weak and woozy from blood loss. But you you think you see the creature approaching from behind, way out in the distance. And uh, you shout out to Ashley and to everybody else, it, it, it's there, I see it. And everybody is looking. Nobody oh. sees the creature. Uh, Ashley, you don't see it. Not with your spending nine nine points of, of luck. Um, well, what a waste, I'll have about them. Or the spot hidden, sorry. You don't you don't see it at all as you row. But you, you, you do row. You, you try to row a lot more fast. Um, I'm doing it. And with your luck, your extreme success of four, um, you seem to make it to the reefer. Um, Chuck, you still see it in the distance heading towards you. You can barely talk, but you still see it in the distance. Uh, but the party has arrived at the reefer in time. Um, I get up, jump off the boat and try and find somewhere to tie it up securely. Yeah, that that and secure that, the paddles and Yeah, and very that... good. It is uh it is it is it is secured, you know, you can secure it right to the gangway, right where okay. uh the gangway is. And then uh, I'm going to turn and look again to where um Charles is pointing. Uh make a spot hidden, please. Pass, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, go ahead um, and make me a luck roll as well. Yeah, no, I failed that. No, you don't. You you don't you don't see where it is. Uh, but uh, uh, but Mac, from what you can see, it doesn't seem to be uh, you know uh, <coughs> by any any time soon. It's not not making a very quick. It's it's not a pursuit. You just. You see it out there. Um, getting Mac up, he's not going to be able to climb he easily himself. He's he's going to need help. I'll assist him. And I'll carry him even. Got 85 strength. Noise. Okay, very good. Um, <clears throat> so I will remind everybody that the medical room was actually on level two. Um, of the ship. In the same uh, structure, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, so I will uh, share that map again. As uh, as everybody gets there, nothing has changed on the ship at all. Um, and as you get into the uh, medical room, um, you can see that there is a, a very good supply of, of first aid materials, uh, specialized uh, dressings and antiseptics. Um, there are medical tools there uh, that are for more serious injuries, uh, including resuscitation equipment. Uh, there are some medical instruments, intravenous kits. Uh, morphine. Sorry? Morphine as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I was going to say you need yeah uh, a hard success. So, um, Ashley, with, with the hard success, uh, you are able to... Uh, clean out the wound, and uh, you also find these compression bandages that are okay. are specifically made for uh, for wounds on on you know on the abdomen area and stuff like that. So um, you're able to with that uh, that you know you're not a doctor, but it would have been a hard success to actually uh, get proper um, medical. Um, um, materials on him and fixed up so that uh, at least he won't continue to suffer more damage and can begin the healing process. When I've done that, I'm going to quickly search around for some morphine to give him a shot of morphine or any other drug. Yeah, okay. It's all level. <laughs> um, you see some broken vials uh, of morphine on the floor, definitely. Um, 
and uh, we'll say that you're you're able to also find uh, antibiotics and uh, penicillin, but you're not quite sure. Do you give them antibiotics now? Do you give them penicillin? Like, you don't know exactly what to do. I don't care. I'll give him a shot of antibiotics anyway, just stop any, any start of infection. But it was the morphine I was looking for. Yeah, the morphine seems to be uh, broken. Like, any the, paracetamol? You see the, sorry? Any paracetamol? Uh, make Painkillers. me a luck roll. Sure, yeah. Um, yeah. There will be pain, there will be like aspirin and and, and some painkillers. Don't want aspirin. Time. And yeah, you you find. Don't morphine. want aspirin because it will thin the blood and he's got a big hole in him. As you're looking for that, you actually find uh, morphine. Um, you got an extreme success on your uh, on your okay, luck check. Cool. Uh, so yes, you find uh, painkillers. Um. Uh. So. As. Uh, this, the incident begins to calm down. The ship is dark. Uh, it is quiet. Uh, you hear the sounds of, of Chuck maybe moaning in pain a bit, um, uh, calming down now with, uh, you know, the, the, the effects of the morphine are taking over. What is it that the party is planning on doing? to home alone this wreck i mean as far as we're aware there's only one of the whatever it is well uh, everybody go ahead and make uh idea rolls and uh we're going to do this just what? as kind of a reminder of how do i do an idea roll? everything yeah. um you make something explosive that's probably our best bet oh, so yes, the I idea know. roll is actually uh if you look at um, are you already? Okay. I'm too busy trying to like. Matthew doesn't have ideas very often. Regular success, just bad ones. Okay, so uh, percent. Dan, thinking about everything on this ship, okay, uh, you know that there is currently no power. No power means no light, and it means no heat. Um, those, yeah. you know, two things may be crucial for survival. Um, you know that you have potentially tons of CO2. You saw a room. You didn't enter the room that has the CO2, but potentially tons of CO2 with piping that leads throughout the ship uh, with uh, CO2 that goes through it. Um, you know you have uh, tons of rope. Um, you have uh, pallets. You have um uh, uh i don't know crowbars you have uh mechanical tools on the ship as well that were found um you have two cranes that look like they could be operational uh if power could get to it you also have a uh bulldozer um probably more of a uh, a forklift um let's say as well um you have those res resources available to you. you have an engine room that looks like it's smashed. Um, Chuck seems to have mentioned that it is, you know, maybe possible to at least get power back if, if you know, something can be repaired in there given time. Um, you have no way to pilot this ship. And at the moment, you have no way to pilot the Delilah. That is the situation as it stands. Set fire to the ship and we'll stay warm. Yeah. Oh, there's plenty of fuel. Yes, you can access the fuel to to stay warm somehow. And you have an empty uh, an empty jerry can. Yeah. An empty if anyone can do electrical engineering to try and or repair mechanics. To... You said there's and fuel on the ship. Running. Some fuel somewhere on the ship. Probably. Well, we can uh, smell the it. The engine room yeah, smelled yeah, like yeah. petrol. Uh, it smelled yeah, like, we, like diesel or whatever. Just get as diesel, much sorry, fuel yeah. as possible and just go back on the um, oh, and just head for land. Um, Aren't we days away from land, though? Well, I we mean, don't know. But if we fill the boat with fuel, we should have enough fuel to get there. Head for a shipping lane. We've got some flare guns. The problem is, out in the water, we are kind of exposed to whatever the thing is. Think it can swim faster than a speedboat? Probably, yeah. 
<laughs> well, we might be able to hold up here. We've got some guns. We've um, Charles's captain radio for help. Then gave him our location. I the rig something with a compressed gas canister. We have more time to work on the um, on the engine. Again, there was someone who could do mechanics. Probably do quite a lot. Uh, yeah. Got ten in mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, where are you trying to do? Are you just thinking about ideas from the the med bay area, or are you actually trying to go down and? Well, I think we'll probably. Uh, yeah, I think this is all happening in the med because obviously he's eyes are tight at the minute. Right. So, yeah, you would know that you'd have to probably get to the engine room, uh, patch up some cables and wires there. Uh, you, you didn't see much of the area. You just remember uh, Mac I've describing been there, it just, yeah. with some of the tools and maybe. Uh... Hmm. Uh, but yes, and then there is the issue of the creature, which actually you saw it clear as day. And then all of a sudden it seems to blink out of existence. Um, Mac, you've seen the creature it never really blinked out of existence at all um uh, matthew daniel never never saw it still don't know what they're I talking don't about really. why we we haven't been able to see it and you two have seen it well aren't you lucky no I'd, I'd like to see what's trying to kill me i'm sure it will it was following us. Max said he saw it. He's out there now. Probably circling the ship. I don't know. Maybe it wants to keep us here or something. Surely it's got enough food. It's killed the whole crew. Well, maybe it wants something else. I mean, I'm presuming it's just one of them. I don't know. It's either one or they all look the same. Why, why didn't it just come in and get us now? What, what's it? What's it doing? Probably outside the door. Maybe it's hunting. A bit of salt. So we need to go back to the engine rooms and try and get the engines started at least, so we get some heat and that. And is it? And the radios are just completely destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I think one of yeah. The, you were, you were completely were, wrecked. The crew did it, I think. Why, Why would the we... crew make their own radios? Uh, it's just that whoever wrecked the radio was not the same creature that pulled out all the like other consoles. I don't understand that either. What? Was, no, what... it doesn't make any sense. What was I mean, the captain the doing un under his bed, hiding under his bed? Then the the dead body. Um. Maybe why, they didn't want anyone to come here. Why isn't, that, why isn't that body being brought down with the other bodies? Have we disturbed well, he, it? Probably because he took his own life, probably. Um, the one in the... Um, oh, the, the laundry. Oh. Yeah. It, was it because he was, I don't know, hiding? The one that, that, eaten, that was in the, the radio controller whose body you found uh, locked and barricaded in his room. That wasn't uh, the captain. That no, was just, no, no. You, you've, you come to the conclusion that he did commit suicide with the yeah. silver-handled, old-fashioned. Uh, yeah, it blade. was the the guy in the, the the laundry. We're not quite sure what happened to him. We probably just keep. Then again, why are we even trying to figure this out? We don't know where this fucking thing is. We don't know what it's thinking. Mm. Who the hell knows what it wants? Well, it, it wants us, doesn't it? Why don't we set up a trap for it? It's gonna... And how would you go about doing that? I've no idea. At some point, it's going to want to come in and try and get us if it's hunting us. So, they're the bait, aren't we, basically? It's going to get in a room where there's the one entrance, so it maybe have a chance of seeing it coming in um and we've got enough guns if if one of us sees it we all know to start shooting don't we 
I wonder if we could, I don't know, like a little, like, flower trick to see if maybe we just can't see it, but maybe it's still, like, interact with stuff. So we could see if it leaves a footprint. Well, that. we know that it does actually saw the wake of it the thing, the water. you can see it yeah. itself. Maybe, maybe it just wanted us on this ship for some reason. Uh, Mac, you can go ahead and make an idea roll. Yeah, what's your mom hey, got yeah. us into this time? Nice. Uh, as the only one to have seen it uh, consistently from what you guys are discussing, um, and, uh, you know, knowing that Ashley said, I fire at it, I... When I pull out my gun, I don't see it. I fire at it. I'm pretty sure I'm firing exactly where it came. At no point did you see it necessarily look like it was hurt or bleeding or any any um, okay. indications that it was shot. But Ashley probably is fairly confident that she would have hit it. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I forget oh. that plan. <laughs> I mean, well, there's two possibilities. More than one? No, no, it's not, not to more discourage than one. that plan, just... Yeah, there's either more than one of them. Or bullets just don't work against this thing. The chair leg might have an effect. <laughs> or the axe. <laughs> well, we need a way to identify where it is the rest of us can actually deal with it. Maybe we Didn't we leave somebody in the power room trying to make? Did they do any rolls to see if they got the power going? Well, <laughs> it, 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 if that well, is something, then... who, who's got repair abilities to do that? That's I was just wondering the guy we left behind. No, we, no, no he's, he's in the navy. navy. Yeah, I, I can do it. Uh, no. Okay. Oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I may be able to do it. <laughs> okay. Um... He'll be singing when he does it. Yeah, I think uh, you guys want to know if uh, Dennis is is capable of doing that. Yeah, we um, left him behind. We haven't left him behind, have we? He's with us, right? I think he's been with us. I don't know. It depends he's, on what he, he's accessible. Yes, and uh, he does. Uh, he he he. You know, he'll he'll confer with you, Mac, and say yes. We you know. He he's he's uh, familiar enough with the electrical repair that uh, he could probably offer you uh, you know uh, two bonus die if you're spending time in the uh, diesel smelling engine room. Yeah, uh, trying to both both rest and relax while while figuring out if you can get power. So if Dennis and I go down to the engine room. I don't know, maybe the rest of you could try hunting this thing. Yeah, that sounds fun. Mm. Well, see with that, we wait for it to turn up and... No, we need to start the engines going, but we need to be searching for this thing. Or, or searching for this thing, unsearching for weapons, more ammo, anything that we could as a weapon. Okay, so... Um... Let's split the party. That's excellent. And uh, we'll say that uh, Dennis and Mac are in the engine room uh, <laughs> with uh, the you know little light sources that they they have. And and at this point on the deck of the ship, uh, you will also need light sources because it is it is already approaching dark. Um, after all this time, heading back to the ship, doing your investigation there. Um, oh, didn't I? fighting with it yes and uh let's go ahead and um go ahead and make your uh, electrical repair uh, or mac should make his electrical repair you can try the two bonus die two bonus die okay yeah that's i mean that's gonna help right that's good. yeah yeah you would think wouldn't you you know you just you work well under pressure a 24. I, I nice. succeeded. So that is a regular success. It is. Um, you so you believe that you can somehow at least get partial power back. And that is what you are currently working on now yeah. uh, together with Dennis. Uh, what is the rest of the party doing? 
was uh, worth it. Stick it with them to provide security at least. Um, I'm gonna go look <clears throat> at weapons. So I'm going to go looking for weapons, any kind of ammo, table legs. Uh, okay, so um, you're going to, and, and it makes sense because you haven't yet um, uh, investigated the superstructure. So, I mean, I'm just uh, going to stay on this floor, so I'd have probably like gone down, turned right and checked those rooms down, oh, to, I see. Okay. down to 15 and 14 in the crew lounge. Uh, fair enough. Uh, okay, well then that is uh, we're gonna yeah. deal with that. Can we, can we wonder about the the body in the laundry cart? Laundry room, one hundred percent. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, what will Matthew be doing during this time? Um, you're in the engine room. Have we gone to the front of the ship in uh, like the furthest away? Um. I don't think uh, we have no, yet. not I mean, not yet. Uh, Liz and Angie did make it more towards um, the, let's say, the front of area where Crane Two is, but they didn't uh, climb up actually to make it onto the bow. So, are you going up? Where are you going, um, Ashley? Where's Ashley going? Ashley I'm was. Just, uh, I just came out of the medical room, which is near seventeen, isn't it? And I've turned right, and I'm literally going to search these rooms one, two, three, up to fourteen, fifteen. See if I can find any guns, yeah, any knives, room. anything as much as anything. Bottles, well, even that we can make Molotovs with or something. I will go with you, but after we've done that, I suggest we go down um, the bottom of the ship. Oh, they're doing the engineering and we'll search. Um... We search the bottom where the, where the cargo is. It's full of cheese and... I don't, you haven't done Cargo 1, have you? Did Jeez, you do Cargo 1? People. Yeah, we did them. It was you full did. of cheese and, cheese and yoghurt. I, I won't do that then. I'll just, I'll go with you, but I'll insist that Liz stays with Dennis in engineering. Uh, okay, that's very good. Um, so as um, Matthew and uh, Ashley are looking around uh, the area, so... 100% you find um a uh you find uh, rooms uh, 14 and 15 are um uh crew cabins um you know uh some of them have you know little spicy calendars on them and uh you know uh normal effects uh clothing you could definitely find uh, enough sweaters to keep warm uh, in the meantime, as the as the chill is uh, is sinking in, um, and you do notice that some of them, uh, some of the uh, the doors look like they've been bashed in uh, with with large force. Uh, would have need something like like a sledgehammer and 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 somebody very strong to do that type of damage. Um, inside the crew lounge, uh, you, you notice that it it has you know. Comfy chairs would be a good place to uh, sit and relax. There are coffee tables. Um, but what probably is most interesting um, to Ashley is uh, you do see a um, a bar uh, behind uh, the counter. And it has, you know, those uh, metal accordion blinds uh, locking it. Um, and as you, as you look towards it, it looks like somebody... It, tried unsuccessfully to open it meaning the lock is all mangled like even if you had the key now you couldn't get it in there uh to open it 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 looks like it's been um it's been it's been mangled and it, it remains unopened um you can make smash me it with uh, my axe. Uh, sorry smash it with my axe the lock sure uh you could smash it with the axe i don't know what it'll do to the bottles behind it but uh you know I'm the, aiming for the, the lock. I'm not uh, aiming for the. Uh, yeah, but again, it's a he cabinet. He can't hit all of the bottles, right? No, the way our looks going tonight, he's gonna he's gonna ignite <laughs> it. Oh, I'm ready for a drink. <laughs> uh, go, go ahead, see if you make your spot hidden. I bend down and it looks like jingle. It, what it? As your sponsor, uh, yeah, you I disapprove. Make, by you the way, you can both make spot spot hidden rolls if you like as you're examining. Just before I hit it. 
Hmm? Is this before? Oh, are you are you hitting it? Are you hitting it? Are you? Yeah. Well, before. I mean, as you you were examining the lock and seeing the damage on it, you both can't make the uh, the spot hidden rolls before you decide to smash it with the axe. Oh. Okay. Spend. My That's a failure, shoulder. and uh, Ashley. Um. Is there any crowbars uh, sp around? A uh, spot hidden roll. Yes. Yeah, no. Okay. How many times um, have we been to 9, 6, 9, 7, 9, tonight? <laughs> so, uh, you can go ahead and, and, and try to smash the, uh, the lock. Um, go ahead and make a, uh, strength roll with a bonus die. Who, me? Uh, no, I believe this is Matthew that's... Yeah, exactly. I was go at it with his axe. Um, strength, probably what not need the bonus die. Don't say that. How, how do you add the bonus die? Uh, just type a uh, ag, sorry. Click on the one B at the bottom near where the dice is. Uh, dice R. Sorry. Uh, one B and then roll. Oh, 19 oh, is 19. Uh, is certainly good enough. Um, you hear it. Uh, it it just it it it, it cracks the whole lock thing cracks and you you hit it so that such that the you know, the 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 metal thing seems to pop open. Uh, now let's um, make a uh, luck roll to see how many you destroyed. Mm -hmm. uh, All of them. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, oh. Well, I, I'm going to say on the plus side, a, a critical failure I believe is 96 Ooh. and above, not 95. Um, uh, so there are still a few bottles left, and uh, but there are now. You you did break a bunch of bottles. Um, I we'll only need one. <laughs> you have uh, maybe two. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's rolled like this. But anyways, uh, that was my mistake. Yeah, you have ten intact bottles. Left. Hanging on the wall. And it's all the really weird stuff that people are. Using. <laughs> it's Serrano. It's Serrano. Exactly. Are we talking uh, Advocar? Advocar. Advocar. <laughs> now, Angie, you can tell right drunk. away. This is common stuff. This is inexpensive. It's not something that you would be found drinking at any period no of time. Way. But yes, you have found. You know, materials that you could use for Molotov cocktails, for sure, with between the the crew quarters and the clothing that's there and these uh, 10 bottles of really cheap alcohol. Uh, you could, you know, more or less either drink it or, you know, no, make Molotov I'm gonna cocktails. Make, I'm going to make 10 bottles of Molotov, but, you know, you can't have them right full of booze. So you take a couple of swigs. Yeah. but uh, like, Yeah, yeah. It, take, um, so you take a couple of swigs, and then we put cloth in. I don't know if anybody's ever made a Molotov out of Advocar before. <laughs> it's an experiment. I mean, this is this is this is interesting. Yeah. Actually, it's highly flammable. Is it? Mm. Yeah. Like, it tastes I mean, it tastes nice, but but then the yeah. rest is pain. Uh, it sounds like like Bailey's. <laughs> Are there many Bailey's Molotovs? Kind of. I, 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 think, I need to I don't know. Think that now. burns very well. Well, that's yeah. the, that's the thing, right? <clears throat> yeah, I think it has to be a certain. It has to be like a certain percentage before it can really burn. Yeah. Whose side are you lot on? Well, but you do know that the stuff will burn wonderfully. Is, is Otherwise, not... like France would be a lit with like wine you molotovs. Tia yeah, Maria no. Molotov cocktail. <laughs> this is definitely not wine. This is this is alcohol, but you know, it's not. I mean, shine. you're happy. You'd you'd kind of you know. Oh, Maybe feel happy. a little bit more regret turning a fine up. bottle of, of brandy uh, into a Molotov cocktail. So at least that's not the case here. Um, and as you explore the rest of, of this uh, floor, um, that is, is basically all that you find on uh, level two, where the medical room is. Um, okay. Crew lounge, you broke open, you have 10 bottles. Um you know, miscellaneous clothing and stuff. No, no other weapons, no shotgun shells, no ammunition. I'm kind of thinking that we should take up base at the crew lounge if once if we get the. 
So, so do we leave the Molotovs there? We make it like a crew base in the crew, you know, like a, we've got to we've got to like bunker down somewhere a bit, haven't we? Or do we go where the food is? Well, you want to find a, a, a position that's easily defensible, I guess. Then, so, so it doesn't the food, have lots of entrances or crew lounge hasn't. Is it just got that one entrance mm. there? What do you reckon? Well, we need to keep the engines working, don't we? So I, I suggest we protect the engine room. Mm. No point uh, going into yeah. another room and and then engines off again. Oh, there is no bar down in the engine room, though. <laughs> We're going to bring the bar down to the engine room. We've got Molotovs. Ten bottles of booze. What could go wrong? Um, Some Molotovs around. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> the engine room. Able to cook some meat, a bit of cheese. And there you go. For dessert. Perfect. Oh yeah, you can scrounge food here for for this evening now. Absolutely no no issues. Um, and so we'll say, uh, is there anything else uh, that uh, Ashley and Matthew are doing uh, with their time? Because certainly it is taking. Uh, a lot longer down downstairs. You haven't. You don't see any any results yet. Nobody came back up in a while. Um, there's no power on yet. Um. Well, I think we were trying to. So we were searching for anything like. Um. Maybe go to the kitchen area to try and get some knives. Could have mine. Uh, yeah, so you know that the uh, kitchen area is on the uh, first floor. Uh, so you could certainly um, you could certainly uh, head there uh, and and in the kitchen you can find some some kitchen knives as well. Is there anything else you'd like to do on the first floor? Oh, what um CO bottle room. Yeah. Do uh, they go so, boom? Uh, so again, yes. So in in that room, which wasn't opened uh, by the the party, um, a, as you go down, you see this yellow triangle with this big CO on it and uh, the number two uh, in small right to the lower right hand side of the O. Um, and uh, it is locked, so you can't open it unless you can lock pick it or uh, grab one of the crowbars and try to. Only someone has lock it. I do have lock picks. Of course you do. Of course you do. It spits. <clears throat> so yes, go ahead and make a lock pick roll. And if you I, succeed, I, put I, the I check mark a, in. I have a criminal pass. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, I, I mean, I have lockpicks. Doesn't mean I have the the oh locksmith. Is that yeah. what you mean? No, you, you would be yeah, somebody yeah, into a bar after hours. That is certainly a success. So, uh, you're able to open up the uh, the room. Uh, inside, um, you can see that there are uh, many, many, many five feet bottles of a CO two. Um, so uh, we'll put it in, it's about uh, one and a half meters and uh, just shy of about 300 pounds when full or about mm -hmm. 200 pounds when empty. Um, and oh. uh, you could see that they are, uh, that this is the, the hold for them. So this is kind of the, the storage area and there are many of them. And you can tell that they're organized by, you know, which ones are full and which ones are empty by where they're placed in, in the room. Um, Matt, I don't, I don't think lugging these around right now um, is going to help, but we know that they're here. And if we work out where we're going to hunker down and we want to draw it towards us, we can use these. And I pull the door shut and go, but it, I think... How many people would it take to carry them? 
Did you say two hundred pound? Three hundred. Three hundred pound. Uh, that's probably several people to carry one. That's so pretty two, huge, it? aren't they? Yeah, that's yeah, hard to be tall. So at least two um, people to carry one, I guess. Or we draw it into this room and then go. Oh, and also, yes, this is the first time somebody's exploring this room, so go ahead and make a luck roll. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, so, the door yeah, you, at it before anyone gets you, level up. You notice the, the first aid kit on the wall, and, and as you open it, um, this one has, has neither a flare gun in it, nor does it have a flashlight. It's just, you know. Just some bandages. bandages, a few. Plaster. Yes. Tiny little saline. <laughs> hmm. I pull the door shut. Okay. Uh, is there anywhere else you'd like to explore? So that was room 10. Oh, out of curiosity, I wanted to see what was in the hobby room, which was 21, but that's like... Hobbies were in that's there. That's just like the games room, basically. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there was like, um, you know, a velvet-covered uh, card table, and there were... Uh... So the radio operator's room was smashed to pieces, yeah? Yeah. Correct, yes. But what you were told. I, I think we go back to them... Um... Tell them about the CO2 room. Yeah. Okay. That could be the place to set up. Um, <clears throat> maybe the trap in there. Mm-hmm. It's, it's right. luring it to the room. So as you guys are uh, heading out of the CO2 room, uh, you hear a, a, a crackle, and uh, you you notice that uh, that that there's a a little popping noise as, as lights appear to be flickering on again. Uh, and while it's not stable at the moment, um, you do hear the buzzing of the neon lights in the uh, area as they as they, they come back to life. Uh, and uh, yeah, downstairs uh, in the engine room, um, uh, Matt, uh, it's uh, Chuck and uh, Daniel, you're, you're able to to finally, you know, put the wires together to at least minimally start to get some light and some power to at least the lights and, and some other uh, parts of the ship, which you, you may then have to go and see what, you know, okay. what you were able to do, what is still operational and what is, uh, what would still need time to repair. Sure. But, and I, so just the lighting, um, no heat yet. But I guess um, too much seems with all the doors. The well, yeah. uh, we'll say that uh, I mean heating. Um, probably it would be depending on on where you are. You'd have to. Uh, you you did you did get some heating as well. We'll say that because uh, it's not clear where exactly the uh, electrical room would be for, or is it? Maybe there is an electrical room. Let's quickly check that. Um. I, it's no worry, as long as we're not in imminent danger of freezing to death or anything. Uh, no, at this point, no. Plus, there are so many blankets available throughout the crew's quarters and, and, and extra clothing and stuff like that. There's definitely uh, no no danger to that. So, yes, you can have... Um, uh, so, uh, the on, on the main level is the hold climate operations. Um, but... Uh, so the chief engineer with the, with the electricity and the lighting that is still flickering you would be starting to get heat as well okay and so where do you guys want to meet up well um matt just said we were heading we were yeah. gonna head so a, as you're yeah. as you're heading down uh towards the engine room uh hold one level two you're you're, you're conscious of a pile of bodies that are still lying in the middle of the floor. It's a, a, a ghastly reminder uh, that that there was not a live operating crew here. 
uh, and uh, something malicious happened to them. And now they seem to be dumped like nothing more than cargo or meat down in the bottom of hold two. Uh, and uh, that is what you were thinking as Charles and Daniel uh, head out of uh, the engine room towards you. Um, Daniel supporting uh, Mac as he is uh, slowly maneuvering his way out uh, of the engine room. Uh, clearly, you could see there are signs of exhaustion. Uh, 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 he is tired from the exertions that he has made today towards getting the electricity back up and running. Anyway, as as we're kind of making our way back, um, before Ashley and Matthew get to us, I'm going to kind of say to, to Danny, I think I fucked up. You think? I, I told Stubings not to send a message for six hours after we no, left. Of, of course he did. <laughs> well, I just, I just wanted to make us all rich. I know. Well, all of us. <clears throat> yeah, all of us. I mean, we would have had that claim one way or the other, even if he had just radioed without waiting. I didn't know if there's anybody left on the ship at that point. Hey, if anything well, happens, get out to of me, here before we have to worry about anything else. <laughs> if anything happens to me, <clears throat> you make you make sure that Dodge is taken care of. Yeah, he'll be taken care. Of. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I'm kind of wondering what Mac would have done if he did find anybody alive on the ship and got in the way of him. Well, we're not even going to think about that because that didn't happen. <laughs> I think that is where we are going to leave it off until next week, if that is okay with anybody. That seems an appropriate hmm. place to kind of let the, yes. let the question be That's pondered. The